David again for another episode behind the spreader. Thanks for joining me today. So you may have remembered that we talked a little bit about um, low mowing and bagging and how you can get positive results from it. So I want to show you kind of an example of that. Let's take a look. So you can see this this portion of the yard. You probably remember. This is my yard, obviously, but you probably remember when I was showing you how to low mow and bag. And I even had my son help me out and do a little bit. So there's a lot of green. I mean, it is starting to green up real nicely. This was done about, oh, two weeks ago or so that we did the low mow bag. Look at all the beautiful green grass that we have popping up in here. But I want to take you over here to the other side. There's the truck there. So this side here, you know, I didn't quite get to it well on purpose and you can see there is very little to no green here and this just kind of shows you right both both sides of the yard get full sunlight there's there's no shade they're watered the same i fertilize them the same there's no difference in how they're treated but by mowing low and bagging you can see even i mean today it's kind of cool but we've and we've had cooler temperatures which has slowed down a lot of the growth but my yard's greened up a lot quicker here compared to over here where we didn't do that low mowing bag and and I kind of waited a couple of weeks just to see what the difference would be and you can see there's a, a very big difference in how much green we have over there over here so the main takeaway of all this is that doing that low mowing bag wakes your yard up and lets that sunlight and that heat get into the soil it gets your yard awakened and in Texas, where we have really hot summers, the quicker we can get the grass woken up, the, the quicker we can get it growing, uh, it allows it to get it thicker, healthier, and stronger, so it can help fight off those drought. Um, so that's just kind of a, a, just a visual example of low mowing and bagging early in the season versus waiting, you know, until almost April to do it, and what kind of gains you can get by doing it a little bit earlier. So. Once again, I want to thank you for joining me on this episode of Behind the Spreader. Um, let us know what your mowing habits are early in the season. Do you try to put it off as long as possible? Do you do it as quickly as you can? Give us a comment down below. Let us know what what you kind of think about that. And let me know if uh, maybe you want to try this low mowing bag idea earlier in the season, kind of like what we did. See if you can't get some better results out of your lawn. So we appreciate y'all, Chorby family. Hope to see you on the next one. Have a great day.